Good afternoon. Our project um, started back actually last school year. I attended a conference at KVEC and Katrina Sloan introduced us to all kinds of technology that was focused around um, robotics and coding. And our school is very fortunate. We have lots of devices. We have lots of iPads. We have a computer lab, several Chromebook carts. But when my principal and I got to looking at it, we didn't have any manipulatives for the students to use that involved robotics and coding. So our problem of practice where students at Fleming Neal Middle School lack the opportunity to engage in coding activities and robotics throughout the school year. Our goals were to boost student interest and understanding in the field of robotics and coding and to engage students in various coding activities using the grant materials. So we actually got lots more stuff than was pictured in here. Um, we got the Lego Boost set, which this is actually a couple of slides away. I can tell you what we got in just a second. But um, we had some trouble getting some of our materials in um, right around the holidays. A lot of stuff on Amazon was selling out. So we actually just got a shipment of stuff in last week. So our pro like our program is going to be ongoing through the end of the school year. They asked me a minute ago, they said, Miss Stewart, is today the last day of this program? I said, no, this is going to keep going. We're going to keep doing this. So um, we decided that we would set this project up two ways. I teach enrichment, so um, I do it during the day so that all of my enrichment students have the chance to participate. But since enrichment is limited to about 60 students and we have 200 students at our school, we decided to offer it as part of an after school program too. That way that students could um, all have the opportunity and ride the 21st century bus home in the evenings if they wanted to participate, they could. So the materials that we purchased that we had at the time we typed this PowerPoint were the Wonder Workshop dot and dash robots, the Cosmo robot, the Lego Boost robot, and of course we had to use iPads. Not pictured and not listed up here are the Bloxels, which actually just came in and they started using those last week. So we're just getting our feet wet with those. And then the drone, they actually got to purchase a drone and with the pretty weather, we've been going outside and flying it. And I think you guys had to program it. Okay. So our guiding research questions that we've looked at are how do scientists use coding in different fields that you can go into? And then why is this type of technology important to the advancement of society? And just a little look at this. Um, we didn't take any um, quantitative data. Most of it was just qualitative. Um, student opinion, have you ever used this type of technology? Why do you think this type of technology is important? Those types of questions. We haven't followed up with our post assessment yet because this is ongoing. And with that, I'm gonna introduce you to my students. Um, I call these kids my guinea pig kids because last year we were part of a drone program through KVEC and they stepped up and said, sure, we'll build a drone from scratch and all of this stuff. So they are um, gonna tell you about each of the, the devices that they got to use. Um, this is Jaylee Collier. Christian Potter, Dalton Sexton, and Cruiser Fleming, and I'm going to turn it over to them. Dalton and Dash are a robotic duo that have many uh, active, uh, you can do many activities such as launching ping pong balls, it can dance, it can also sing and play music. This is a video of Dash playing a song written and coded by us. Cosmo is a programmable robot that has a unique personality. He can remember faces, play games, and communicate with us through the app. Cosmo can do many tricks through his sparks. Sparks are earned by feeding him daily, playing with him, and uh, taking care of him. I, we sort of figured out he's sort of like a pet. You have to guide him through certain things and keep him calm. He, he's pretty much like a pet. The Lego Boost robot comes with 847 pieces that can be used to create five different robots 
and six decoding activities using the downloadable app. The Lego Boost robot can be, can be programmed and uses our voices. So all you have to do is record your voice and he'll say whatever you said. We chose come aboard me ship because our school mascot's a pirate. Arg. Basically, um, that's that's it. They did uh, bring their Cosmo robot to show you if you can see um, one of the. What is it that you're doing with it? I forgot. He died. He died. <laughs> okay, he, his battery died. Okay, well they were going to show you that a game that you can play with it, but um, they've got a lot of it, a lot of joy out of these, and my enrichment class has as well. How that I set it up in the enrichment class is we had. I think we purchased like three or four different robots and I would divide them into groups and just give them iPads and just let them go and code and just explore with the robots. I really didn't have a set curriculum, but we were hoping that this would um, spark some interest in math and in science and just get kids into computers and coding. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, thank you all.